the Cleveland Cavaliers select Evan Mobley. It's been a historical franchise in this league for years. We have a trade to announce. The Boston Celtics select Jason Tatum. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the NBA front office show. All-star teams. They're going to be announced tonight. We thought before that happens, we would go ahead and give you our all-star team. So we're going to go through the West and the Eastern Conference, breaking down who we think should be all-stars this season and why. And we already, from talking before here, we already know that we've got some differences here, which this will be fun, Keith. Yeah, absolutely. I think sometimes we suffer almost from groupthink because we we tend to share a lot of the same opinions. So this will be fun to get into. Couple couple things tonight. The starters will be announced mm-hmm. on TNT uh, before the the game. Starters reminder: fifty percent fan vote, twenty five percent player vote, twenty five percent media vote. Uh, that's how that that goes. So if somebody wonky gets in there, don't blame anybody, but you know, the people who voted uh, for that one, because it probably means it went a little sideways, uh, likely in the fan vote with that. We saw, you know, uh, no, no disrespect meant to Clay Thompson. Wonderful comeback story. Probably not deserving of the number of all-star no. votes he got uh, the, this year. Um, then the other thing is the reserves, those will get announced a week from, from now, uh, the week before the trade deadline. So we'll know uh, what the full all-star teams are. Um, I will say for mine, I picked a couple players um, who news has come out are unlikely to play yeah. in the game. Um, but we'll talk about that as we get into it. And then just the position designations. This is where it gets really yes. hard in both conferences because they're – there. You have to, you, you can do some position fudging if you need to. So a reminder, three front court players, two back court players for the starters. Then the reserves, which are voted on, selected by the coaches, are three front court players, two back court players, and then two wild cards, which are you know basically anything. So it is, um, you know, that is is the way to go. So let's. You want to start with yeah. the West because we never it, start with the West. We and I start feel with like the, the West the was easier to come up with the list because I, and, and the West has just been weaker this year. It's been the first time in forever, but, but mm-hmm. I feel, I felt like there yeah. were less options in the Western conference. So it was easier putting yep. together this list. I agree. Um, also keep in mind what exactly is an all-star. That's something that is purposefully left kind of up to the imagination, right. In order to, sure. to create debate mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So keep in mind, some people will yep. put, Team success is the number one thing. Other people will not. Other mm-hmm. people will put individual. So there's a lot that goes in here. But anyway, let's let's get yep. into it. Um, why don't we do our starters first? So all right, sure. Do you want me go to go it. first, or do you want to go first? Okay, all right. In the front court, I have, um, and this isn't in any mm-hmm. particular order. Um, LeBron yep. James, mm-hmm. Nikola Jokic, and Carl okay. Anthony Towns. Um, now, Town, LeBron and Jokic, easy. Those those two super easy to to put in as the two starters. Towns is where it got a little trickier. This is one where the last fan voting we saw, Andrew Wiggins had a somewhat healthy lead for that mm-hmm. last spot. Um, we'll see where that goes as far as once you factor in the media voting. Sometimes the fan voting goes with a big push late. Um, so we'll see. But I, I had Carl Anthony Towns there, and then my backcourt, same as the, the fan voting is Stephen Curry and John Murray. Okay. So our our lineups are nearly identical, except for one thing and it's the carl anthony towns part i also have lebron Jokic. those ones are locks morant curry i didn't feel like that's that difficult either there's another guy in dallas that maybe we mm-hmm. can talk about in there but sure I, I still felt like this was a pretty clear john morant steph curry uh the guy that i put in though i put in draymond green because i think that we've seen okay. the warriors defensively have been fantastic and draymond's been a big piece yep. to that I thought that the Wiggins yep. votes should have been Draymond votes. So <laughs> so Probably. I went I went with him. Uh, and then that's me. And I talked about this before. Team success, individual success. I think individually, Carl Anthony Towns has probably had a better season overall than, than Draymond. I mean, you can make arguments. But mm-hmm. but because the Warriors have been playing so well and, and so good, I that's why I bumped that him up in front of Towns. But Towns is still an all-star in my yeah, book. No issue. Yep. So 
All right, so let's let's go to the reserves in the West then. And this is just where we had the flip flop. It sounds like I had Green yep. as one of my reserves. I had yep. Rudy Gobert. Then this is where I'm kind of playing a game to get in an extra guy later. Um, I put Paul George oh. in there because I think he clearly would have been an All Star. Um, I want to give him the the honor of being selected as an All Star, even knowing he's not going to play. Um, then my backcourt: Luka Doncic and Devin Booker. And then my wild cards were Chris Paul and Donovan Mitchell. Um, then that, that round rounds mine out. Now where I played games just a little, I'll openly say I said Paul George. And then if Draymond doesn't play, my two replacements in the West, I'm going to put in Anthony Edwards um, mm-hmm. for Paul George. And I'm going to put in Andrew Wiggins for Draymond Green, um, which I, I, I'm shocked that it's Andrew <laughs> Wiggins is where I went to. But it's not no. easy to get to that that other front court guy. I will openly say Anthony Davis would have been on my list. He just has missed too much time for me to 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 be to be in there now. Um, you know that that's what made it a little hard to to say. Yeah, let's. Well, put and him that's on why list. I left Paul George off of my list. Which I thought, okay, if I'm leaving AD off, I'm going to leave. Yeah, and I did leave AD off. I'm going to leave Paul George totally off as, as well. Um, yeah. I had to fudge things a bit as well in terms of finding the other, the extra front court player, the extra, um, the extra bit. <laughs> yeah. Front court in both was conferences tough. is not easy when you get into the reserve group. It's pretty easy up front, the starting mm-hmm. group and the first couple reserves. It's that third reserve is, it, it gets difficult, but yeah. Who, so so who I've got, got uh, I've, I've felt bad not having any of the Suns starting when they've been so great. You know, and then they're sitting at the top of the West. Yeah. So Devin Booker and Chris Paul, automatics. Those are, those are, those are in for me. Yep. Uh, Carl Anthony, Anthony Towns and Rudy Gobert, uh, Luca. Uh, maybe I can kind of count him. Some he's kind of bigger as a front court player. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, sure. I also though looked at could I get away with my other my two wild card guys? Could one of my wild card guys or or Luca count as a front court player? My wild card guys being Donovan Mitchell and Anthony Edwards. Yeah, and I think Edwards yeah. you can count as a front court because when they're fully healthy, he starts right. at the three because they run with uh, Beverly and Russell. Uh, let, let me use this as a mini, 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 super quick soapbox mm-hmm. moment. Just stop yes. with this. This is just stupid. give us the twelve best. Like, just get rid of this. Especially, I, I kind of get it if you want to do it with the starters. Mm-hmm. Kind of get it because, and I don't think that goes so wrong that somebody ends up missing out. But in the the reserves, go and also let's bump it to yeah. fifteen. Fifteen's what we allow to be active for a regular game. Anyway, we should have fifteen on or a few more guys that would clean up a lot of this. Um, there. So, yeah, so we're pretty close then. We're, 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 you know, I think in the end, we're basically the, the same. Pretty similar. The now, guys. I will say that my, <laughs> the biggest dilemma that I had out of this grouping, and I didn't focus a ton on the positions, I focused more on who should be in there. Anthony Edwards versus DeJounte Murray ended up being, was, yeah. a, was a really, really tough call for me. And I ultimately leaned towards the wolves being higher in the standings right now is why I went with, cause I think DeJounte Murray is deserving as well. He's put up some incredible numbers, but mm-hmm. the Spurs being the Spurs, not having as good of a season. I don't think he's getting enough recognition right now for what he's doing. And so not putting him in there, that was the hardest decision for me in this list. Yeah, no, that, that's a, that's a, a good one. I mentioned Anthony Davis was hard to figure out what to, mm-hmm. to do with him on, uh, you know, and then this is just helped by a handful of other guys, like, of course, Kawhi Leonard being out all year that, that, you know, takes Correct. him completely out of the mix for, for this. So, you know, so that's what is, what did make it difficult. And I do the same thing as you, I use team success as kind of my tiebreaker. I'm mm-hmm. all on these things. That's, that's where I will uh, go to with, with that. So, um, yeah, so that's, uh, you know, I think it's interesting. All right, let's, let's go it. to the East. You go first here. With okay, East my starters. East starters. Um, I unfortunately have DeMar DeRozan as a guard. <sighs> no, that's, yeah. And yeah. I did the same thing, even though we're both in agreement no. and he's not one. I but, want him yep. as I want him yep. as a front court player because that would have made this a bit easier. <laughs> um, but yep. <laughs> I've got DeMar DeRozan and Trey Young as my, as my guards. And then uh, my front court players, I feel like this is, I think this is probably the biggest no brainer in terms of an all-star grouping. It's Kevin Durant, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Joel Embiid. Yeah, no, we're in the interest of time. We're exactly yeah. the same. Uh, we're with our five starters, and and I think that's going to be the five starters when all is said said and done. Trey Young, this is one where the individual success 
far outweighs the lack of team success for me. I mean, he's been great. Just the Hawks have not been very, very good, but it's, it's not because of Trey Young. All right, let's get into the reserves because yes. here's where it gets a lot more uh, difficult, but for a change for kind of good reasons, you have to make, make a couple difficult cuts. Yeah. So I've got as my front court players, <clears throat> I've got Jason Tatum and Jimmy Butler as, as two of them. And then I'm going to throw Zach Levine into the mix there as well to kind of round things out uh, and again maybe we can call him a front court player kind of sort of a little yeah, position a little fudging but we'll, but then we'll, my other we'll... guys i went all guards because i feel like the guards are the ones who kind of get the short end of the stick here so my two wild card guys are guards as well my other guys are james harden lamello ball fred van vliet don't call me greta and darius garland all right so we're, we're really close the only guy the only difference I had was I put Jared Allen in mm-hmm. as the front court player along with Butler yeah. and Tatum. And then I, then that bumps Levine to the guard line along with James Harden. And then I have Garland and Van Vliet. So I LaMelo balls. He's my second guy out. I have Kyle Lowry okay. ahead of him. Um, I just think Kyle Lowry has been that good. And then injury replacement for Kevin Durant I tried to do it the way the NBA will probably do it, which is to name a front court player as the injury replacement. So I'm with Pascal Siakam um, because I think he he, did. I don't know that people realize how good he has actually been uh, this year. And I almost gave him so open uh, discussion here on this point is I had a hard time justifying Jason Tatum um, Mm -hmm. in there. Now his last week plus of games has made that far yeah. easier uh, because he's been playing out of his mind. Um, but I almost went with Siakam over Tatum. I almost played the Zach Levine game to slide Lowry in there. Um, but yeah, it's that that's where it gets a little bit tough to, to fill that out. And, and yeah, there's going to be a guard or two who misses that that probably should be there in, in these. I also feel like sometimes I'll, I'll knock the younger guy out just because I feel like they've got sure. more chances, but is has anybody ever been built to play in an all star game? Maybe That's, more than the fun ball? factor like, was definitely yeah. definitely made a difference in my voting in this case. And I maybe it shouldn't, yeah. but look, I, I tend to I, I don't get super excited for the all star game itself, right? Yep. I've watched yep. enough of a team playing no defense this season. I don't need to see another <laughs> another game of that. So um so oh, with that man. being the case, I did not want to necessarily I, I, I'm not like somebody who gets super excited for the all-star game. Usually I'll flip on like the fourth quarter because that's when they really start, start playing. Right. That's the way I look at the all-star game. Yeah. If LaMelo is playing, I'm probably watching the entire thing. Right. Like, cause, cause you never, he's the, he brings that yeah. excitement to it, that flair. Would it still be pretty similar? Yeah. Okay. Maybe he doesn't make that big of a difference, but I think the fun factor swayed me enough in this case. Yeah. Full disclosure, the all-star game itself is when I usually say, hey, family, you want to watch a movie or something? I'm like, don't you have basketball? And I'm like, no, I'm good today. And then I'll catch up on the yeah. highlights later because that's all I really care about. Because when I'm watching the game, I tend to just find myself like, don't yes, get hurt. Right. Please don't get hurt. You know, it's I just, you know, I, I worry, you know, sometimes with, you know, some of these uh, plays. And I'm with you. If you're going to turn something on, you you check in late. And, you know, so often, I mean, it's good that, that and I think they're going with again with the Elam ending. Yeah. Um, you know, and as long as they are like, that's actually been it's better helped. because you're not just, you know, sometimes playing out the you know, last seven minutes of a 40 point game one way or the other. So, uh, probably I guess to then no one's surprise, we're pretty well in sync with, uh, with our all-star selections. I don't, Hey, it was, I don't feel like it was super duper hard mm-hmm. this year. Um, I felt weird not giving the Bucks an extra guy. Sure. It felt weird that it's only Giannis, but Middleton hasn't really played that way this year. Drew Holiday's missed a good amount of time. Um, the the Nets, you know, there was obviously Kyrie Irving would always factor in here if he had you know played mm-hmm. most of the year. So that's weird. Philly, you know, it's really only Embiid. You know, some of the guys, you know, whether they did it to themselves or uh, by virtue of injury, just are completely out of the question. Like you know, Kyrie, Ben Simmons, Kawhi Leonard, uh, a handful of those guys are just that would normally be in this mix. But that's no different. Most years have have that as well. I also looked hard too. Was there a way to get Jaron Jackson yeah. Jr. in there? Mm-hmm. Could I could I but I went back and really looked at it and he's only really played super well over the yeah. last month. 
his start to the year was rough. His shooting percentages are pretty bad. So it, uh, yeah, that was, you know, I, I did, in the end, I did not feel bad about, uh, who's the biggest really snub bad. out of our groups. Um, for me, it's probably mm-hmm. Kyle Lowry. I, I think, um, you know, he deserved a chance. I mean, in the heat, they're one of the best teams in the league and I'm probably going to have one all-star, you know, part of that is bam missed yeah. a chunk of time too. Um, but yeah, I probably, for, for me, it's that's, and that's the thing, right. Is I think I, on my list, I probably punished injured players a bit more. Cause like you included Paul, like if everybody in the NBA was healthy, right? Like Kawhi's in here, Paul George is in here. Anthony Davis is in here. Bam is probably sure. in here. There's a number of players that yeah. are probably on this list. And that's part of why too, we're seeing some different names pop up as injuries have, have changed, but that's not necessarily different than most years. But some, in some cases, you'll see these injured guys get an all-star selection anyway, and then they just get replaced yep. by somebody. I kind of went ahead and yep. used the replacement in, in my list. Yeah. And I think that's, that's, you know, not the wrong way to do it either. I don't think there is a right and wrong way. I mean, clearly Kevin Durant's yes. going to get voted in and then immediately replaced. Uh, Chris Haynes already reported right. he will not play, um, which it makes complete sense too. And then, you know, it's the last mini soapbox moment for me. If you guys feeling anything, do not play. Like there's nothing yeah. to be gained in this. You already got the you know, go be announced, Smile. you know, wave to everybody, you know, yeah, have your have your fun time, and then you know, go go sit on the bench and watch you know the game and you know that stuff. Like like I was thinking about LeBron. Yeah. At this point in his career, he wants to be an All Star, mm-hmm. but I don't think LeBron has a whole lot of desire to go out there no. run up and down the court for even twenty five minutes for you know another day. I, t- I think if I think if, if you could really get him to admit it, he might rather be able to in a normal world take the week off and go to the beach. You know, and go somewhere warm and and chill for you know a week, and you know I'll see you a week later. But you know, but I mean, of course, he's gonna go. He's gonna give it his effort, and that's the one thing I will say too with him is I always appreciate his sense yeah. of history and understanding of like, hey, people want to see me, so you know, here I am. I'm gonna go do my thing. I think a lot of these guys have that mindset. I think that's kind of come down from from the generations sure. before of. You know, hey, fans want you out there, like be be out there and you know put on a show, and and that's all you really hope for with this is one nobody gets hurt, and you get a bunch of highlights and yeah. funny stuff, and you know Steph Curry taking forty footers, and you know nobody crazy diving things. to the floor, no major contact, no, nothing God, like no. that, just yeah. <laughs> bubble wrap yourselves yeah. and go have some. That's fun. why Marcus Smart doesn't make. <laughs> oh <teams>. my gosh, because <laughs> he, you know, he'd be diving and you know that's kind of why it's funny. I've seen people be like, Kyle. I remember a couple of years ago, Kyle Lowry was oh, taking yeah. charges, and it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> this is, they, you know, that's a business to just, just get out. It's of the All Star game. Man. <laughs> Let the man have the dunk. Exactly. Yep. That's where your own matter. team no is like, cares dude. About. Just don't do that. Yeah, exactly. Knock it off. I will say the last thing I'll say too is. And this gets a little harder with the way they do the draft and all that stuff. And we'll do that maybe too after they're actually picked. Maybe yeah, we'll draft sure. teams. Um, but let's go back to them wearing their oh, own jerseys. Oh yes, please. Have you seen the the, the no, jerseys horrible. that have been leaked? They don't yeah, look very good. Too plain. No, they don't. I mean, it's fine, but it's just plain. I like when they wear their own. It was better in the nineties <laughs> when they did it. Back in my like day, super. <laughs> Wacky, goofy yep. stuff with a, like cartoons, but yeah. So yep. So, all right. Well, there it is. There are all star teams. We're you know in lockstep as per usual on this. Um, we'll cover tomorrow. We'll cover who mm-hmm. actually got voted in as starters. Um, and then a week from now, who actually got in, and then we'll really get into who were real. Uh, you know, um, uh, guys who got left out that shouldn't have. Who who uh, you know guys guys that were missing and those kind of things and and we'll we'll cover all that in addition to all the trade news and everything else that'll come out over the next week two weeks That's to right. go to the NBA. That's trade. right. Here we go. Clock is ticking. GMs, come on, get on those phones. Let's get some stuff done. <laughs> all right, everybody. Appreciate you joining us. Make sure you do subscribe right here to the NBA Front Office YouTube channel. Ring that notification bell as well. Till next time. Stay safe and see ya.